Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again. Um, somebody sent me a little video um, and asked me to if I could do my version of it, I think. Or was I interested? <laughs> Something along that line. Well, I went across and watched the lady's video and she got it off somebody else. The lady's name is uh, Stamping With A More. Angela Pijaz, I think her name is, if that's how you pronounce it. But she went and saw it off a lady in Germany. And I can't remember that lady's name. So um, it's a little, it's a double flap treat box made with the Sure Do Love You Framelets, which is now on my big shop. The one that makes the box. Absolutely stunning, and I don't think this lady would mind if I well, I've given her a mention. It's she, and I but I don't know the other lady's name, so but look at this how cute! I've stuck the bottom bit down because I don't think it really needs two openings, but um, yeah, you would untie your bow and you can go inside. And they also made these, but they will go inside at an angle but then it might distort your little box but I thought what a great way to have five little uh, thank just for you cards to say thank you and I've chose the three colours got Mellow Mambo, Rich Razzleberry, um, Calypso Coral and obviously the Mellow Mambo but yeah absolutely gorgeous so I had two of them and then one of the thingy and these but aren't they cute? They fit in the box perfect. They're exactly three inches like the box. But the envelopes are just slightly bigger. The envelope's like three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, but yeah, I, they would go in, but you'd have to angle them slightly. You know what I mean? And um, it may push your box a little bit out of shape. But what a cute, cute little thing. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's basically... I'll show you how it's done. It's just easy, really easy. Nothing complicated about it whatsoever. But I am going to put them inside the box and I'm going to put these. I'm going to make two more. One now on the video and one more ready to go in the prize fund. So I'm going to have five little thank you cards and envelopes in there. Slightly angled so they go in uh, as a little, as another prize for the prize fund. So, uh, and these were so quick. Stamp. From the Heart Happiness, Beautiful Floral Heart, and the Just For You is from I Sure Do Love You. And I've added, I've got one, two, three little hearts, my metallic doily, and I've added one of these lovely little flowers from the Petal Garden, it's not Petal Garden, oh, what's it called? Petal Passion embellishments, they're beautiful. Uh, I'm going to change up the card. I'm still using this beautiful card, but this is peach, uh, peach, Mella Calypso Coral. So I'm fetching in this, the shimmering Calypso Coral ribbon that you can earn for free out the celebration. So if you want to know more about that, please get in touch. I will be more than happy to sell you your items so you can get your free ones. So yeah, this is all you're going to need. And maybe a doily and an extra piece of Whisper White card for your heart and little cut out here. I have already cut out my other little heart. So cute. I love this design of And it's up to you which way round you have it, but I love the little love hearts. And the fact there's little love hearts all the way over this. So absolutely beautiful. So let's get started. Put my ribbon to one side. That was for the little cards. They're just so cute. I mean, there's nothing major about them. It's just a lot of art for you to say thank you to somebody or it's just for you, just because I love you. And I just thought it'd be an extra added little treat to go inside the prize fund. So even if they don't fit in the box and it distorts, I will pop them in a decorated pizza box as well. So, yay, extra prizes. So, <laughs> oh... I'm on my medicine tonight, no coffee. It's just uh, something the doctor gives me. So, up with the big shot. Minus the plates because the two together are really heavy. 
and you're going to need two pieces of this. You design it. This is six and a half by four and a half. You could have done it at four and a quarter, but then I, I don't want to push it too much. I line it up at the very bottom. So you, as long as your top fits in, and we're going to run this with the big shot. You're probably wondering now how we're going to get the other flap. Oh, you will we'll get loads of crunching. Loads of crunching. So go in there and back. Take off. There's what you'll have excess. Now you're going to take this off. And you're going to tuck your flap in there because you don't really want it. And you're going to line this paper. So you've got grooves here, so push your paper back in and slide it back up to the very end, making sure you're in your grooves and that you're right at the very top of your paper. And then you're going to just run that through the big shot, just the top half, making sure you're right on the top and you're going to do that twice. So I'm going halfway down and back. And I'll go in there and back because I want to make sure my score lines are there. So you can pick up your frame. That's what you've got left over. And now you've got your double flaps. So you can see your score lines. That's the more important. You've got those score lines here. Oops, a little bit of a fray there. So I'll snip that off. With my snips. Yes, yeah, so where's one and you're going to need another one. So we're going to repeat that process. And I do apologise. <laughs> so making sure you're right down at the very bottom and then your top fits in. Making sure your top is the most important. Obviously your bottom as well, but you want to keep that. You could obviously go to seven inches if you want to make sure you've got enough, but you're just going to waste an inch of paper. And then we're going to go back. How cute! This box is absolutely adorable. So there is my excess. It's not a lot of waste there, you could cut some little love hearts out of there if you wanted. Those of you also who are very frugal, mate. So, taking this, lining it back up, I'm going to tuck that flap in there just out of the way in case it did. In case you forget and go all the way down, you don't want to chop your lid off at the other end. So, making sure you're right at the top, lined up, and in the sides. Can't really go wrong. Make sure you're in those little grooves. I've got to have it banged on the top because you need the boxes to be exactly the same size. So again, I'm going to push this in and run it to the picture. Just the top bit. Go in there and back. Make sure the the fold uh, the score lines are in. Oops, a little bit of a nick again. I'll just get that there. There we have it. Oh, I dropped my paper. <coughs> so there we are. Um. Oh, right, while I'm here, I'm going to get my piece of Whisper White, my little love heart, and I'm just going to stamp my love heart in Calypso Coral. So cute, this love heart. Oops. So I'm just going to just 
Isn't that cute? Love it. And while the ink is out, I'm just going to just stamp I just for you as well. So yeah, uh, the lady's name again is Stamping with a Moor. So if you want to go and check her video out as well, that would be superb. I don't know the German lady's name. I do apologise. Um, she did say the lady's name and there was no way I'd pronounce it. <laughs> I have a job with surnames as it is, so... But I'm sure if you watch her video, I watched mine on my email, so I didn't go to YouTube to watch it. Because the lady sent me the link via my email. So I don't know if there's a description bar or anything. But there's my love heart. There's my die. And there's my piece of paper for my... Just get rid of my bits out of the way. Plates first. Die machine next, and you're just going to take the classic window punch, slot that in there, fits perfect. And pop one out. There we go, oops, there we go. And look, no wasted paper. Oops, my punch nearly fell off there. So these are the bits we want. Oops, I can't pick them up. <laughs> I need nails for that. <laughs> so these are our bits, our ribbon. And you're going to need your hole punch. Oh, I tell a lie. I need some uh, Calypso Coral cardstock. I forgot to tell you this bit. I'll just get my Calypso Coral out. If I can find some in my scraps bin. Yep. You're going to need two pieces at one inch. By three and a quarter. I love my little scraps bin. Yeah, you're going to need two. And I'll show you why in a moment. So yeah, two one inches by three and one quarter. And we've only got nine subbies to go for the 5,000, so we can do that giveaway. Yay! So, and that's the other bit I need. And obviously my two boxes. And I put my die. These come as a bundle and you can save 10%. Absolutely amazing offer. I'm just going to move these out of the way a sec. So I can get my my dies back in and my love heart. Whoops. I knew they sat inside something. They sit inside the little heart there. Yeah, you buy the two together and you save ten percent. Absolutely bargain. Which this then you. Or all match up every single one of these hearts. Yeah, even the little one. I'm not sure about that one. I think that one matches the one from here. That long one actually matches up with this one. All the rest match up with um, the sweet and sassy framelits. It's good to know, isn't it? Right, now we're going to burnish our score lines. Gently use a bone folder. I try and press against that score line and let it fold itself basically. And then once I'm over, perfect little score line. Now, with your top flap, these flaps you want to fold forward.
and then this little flap comes backwards. And like a little, like the little concertine. And you want to do that on all four, four ends. Fold down and burnish. Fold back and burnish. We'll come to the little flaps in a moment. Isn't that cute? That's your little box. So, now see what I mean. These little cards fit in perfect. If you didn't want to give envelopes, that's they fit perfect. Perfect. Your envelopes, however, don't. But they will at an angle, if you know what I mean. So yeah. That was my reasoning. They probably fit the long way. In fact the envelopes do fit either way. But they fit that way, should I say, but they're still too wide to get my meaning, so you'd have to lift them forward to get all five in of each. Oh, rogue. <laughs> so we've done that one. Looks like a little dish. Isn't it? Little tray. So again we can fold our finish our lines. The only bit you could use white for this. I'm using this because it matches the card. You can use any colour actually. You can use gold if you want to. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't use gold. So again, let the natural line of these fall into place and then fold your little flat back. I'm the same this side. Come gently, don't force it. There's our two little flaps. Aren't they cute? So this is where these come in. You can use fast views or tearing tapes entirely up to you. Just add your views. Don't put on a little flap though. And then you get, oh, my finger's stuck to that then. You're going to line this on this score line. You can bend them, I suppose, but just don't, don't have them touching up. Right along the score line, top and bottom, and then just press. Then what we're going to do, we're going to turn this over, and just on the... Clips our coral piece. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to add, um, I'm going to line up those score lines <laughs> right next to each other, making sure they line up perfect. Push them against this edge so you've got no gaps. And that's how your box gets tied together. Isn't that perfect? So again, with this, oops, oh, my fast fuse has just come to the end. Look at that. Let me just grab uh, a refill. Stamping Up sent two new refills because me and one of my customers had a bit of trouble with ours. From there, you know, remember they were buy one, get one. Buy one, uh, but buy the fast fuse, get two refills free. Yeah, we had a bit of trouble with a couple of hours, but fair play to Stamping Up. They're marvellous at replacing stuff. They are absolutely marvellous. So you've got one, two, three, and you've got one two, three, line them up with all three, and it's back together. 
Perfect. So grabbing your other piece. The other lady I watched did not uh, seal her box at the bottom uh, like I'm going to. I don't think you need two openings. As long as you put your sentiment on the right way round, people will know to open the top. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to make sure that they are lined up perfectly. Oops. Now, come off. Now, come on carefully. I need to do this properly now, Gamer. You know that. I'm best off doing it up here, aren't I? So, put your two score lines together. And again at the bottom. And there we go. Perfect. Perfect. No gaps. You can't see the clips or coral inside. Unless you look inside. <laughs> I'm on about from the outside. So choose now which way you want your box. Do you want this? I'm going to have... Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's a bit more gold there. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to open their flaps and these ones. And all I did was sit there, put a bit of fast fuse on these little flaps. And around the other side. And now I'm going to tuck those in. Sorry, I don't mean to pull it down so you can't see. And then I'm going to close one side of my little box. And then we're going to close this side of our little box. Keeping the flaps together. And then I'm going to put my bone folder just down there to catch the corners. And then that's it. That's my little box. And it stops them from pulling up as well. Just need to pop my bone folder back in that corner. Right, now I'll show you what I mean about the cards. Uh, there they These are the little cards and envelopes. See, the envelopes will go in at an angle. See? And so are the cards. Perhaps you put two at the front and two at the back, uh, three at the back. I've gone down the envelope flap, that's what it was. See, they fit perfect now. But does that look like it's twisting? See, it might just be pushing the box out a little bit. And I don't really want to do that. But it's closed. Nothing's gaping. Oh, I'm going to take them out. I don't want to ruin the little box. I'd... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these separate. I'm going to leave my lovely little cards inside. And I'm going to close this box up. This is the top bit. This is the bottom, obviously. And we've actually sealed those two bottom ends. So now you need to keep these two flaps together. And you can show that level. And in the centre, you're going to punch a hole. And feed your ribbon through. keeps them together as well. 
But uh, we'll sort the ends out in a moment. So I'll tie this in a lovely little bow now. Bunny ears. And this never gets the bows right. Uh -huh. This is where you watch me struggle man, and laugh at me because I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> You can have a faff around with your bow any time you want. <laughs> I'd never seem to get it right, so that'll do. I'm going to trim these tails now. And if you want to stop them from fraying ever, uh, you can use a lighter and it will stop the ends. So how much ribbon did I use there, by the way? Oh, I had about 14, 15 inches. I'd say 14 would be plenty. That's cute. So again, I'm going to do exactly the same at the top. Making sure your flaps are perfectly together. Keeping it in the middle. It's a little... Oh, it's caught. It won't come off. There we go. Oof, I've, I've stamped, look at that, I've punched it twice. That back one anyway. Oh, never mind. You won't see it when my bow's on. So I need to feed this through. I'm all fingers when it comes to ribbons. center. Can I tie a bow? I find that if you tie a bow upside down the tails fall right. Is that right what people tell me? Or is it you've got to take it round the back? I'll push it out. See now this is where I, I'd normally get my bow maker out because I'm all fingers and thumbs. Ah oh, help Somebody come and tie my bows. <laughs> Don't like that one. Oh, that one's a little bit better, isn't it? <laughs> she says, right, I'm going to pull it tight. And then, oh God, look at that. No, it's, that's awful. That is awful, Gina. Come on. You can do better than that. laughing probably my bows is disgusting <laughs> there we go I'm just going to trim it and hope for the best but it looks wonky now then it's on its side oh well I'm not the best bow maker in the world I never claimed to be uh, yeah I reckon 14 inches would be perfect for either side depending on what size bow you wanted and how long you wanted your tails as well that is starting to look a little bit better. I will manipulate that some way. Stay. Look at it, it's twisted. <laughs> oh, bless my soul. So no need, no need for that no more. I'm going to get out my metallic doilies. I think these are fabulous. Oh, and I had my boxes yesterday, so I decorated the stickers, clips, clear faceted gems, snowflakes. 
metallic doily sequins. And they're all in here. Love these. I think you get, I'm not sure, I think you get three of each, three large gold, three large silver, and three large, uh, three small gold, three small silver. So you get 24 altogether, I think. What does it say? 24, yeah. Perfect. I've got gold clips. Oh, I, you know, I never bought these at Christmas, and I never used a single one of them. So I'll put them up for next Christmas. I know they'll be retired, but my tassels. You can get all sorts in these. My stamping spots are coming tomorrow. And I followed Jambi. And uh, look at this. Perfect. These are my spots tomorrow. She did a video and made these lovely tray. And you can get 15 stamping spots in there. These are old daubers. Take the sponge off, add a um, Velcro to one side, and they add this to the bottom of your spot to the other side. And when you pick your spots up, you don't get ink on your fingers. Isn't that a marvellous idea? Jan B, she's marvellous, absolutely marvellous. So I put one on the spine inside and one on the outside, so when I'm looking at them, I know what they are. Perfect. So I'm looking forward to doing my stamping spots tomorrow. So now I'm going to get some glue. I'm going to add some fast fuse, I think. And I'm going to pop this on the front of this gorgeous little box. And it fits on there perfect. Now I'm going to pop on some dimensionals. I want. Like it's just started raining again. Gosh, heavens have opened up. On there, and I need one for the back. Oh, I don't know. Should we have that like that, like on the other box or the other side? No, definitely that way. So I need one on there as well. Oh, it's tipping down outside. Oh, flipping it. So I'm going to add this on here. Love that, love that. Oops. Good though, the bottom didn't move at all. Oops, I need to add mini ones. So am I just for you? And I'm just popping them on the ends because they're going to rest over my heart in the centre. I don't need one in the centre, it'll bulk, bulk it up too much. So we've got one heart. We've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, just for you. And now I'm going to slot this just behind here. Isn't that pretty? And I think... I, I've got four little hearts, well I'll have three left now, oh my gosh. And I'm going to add that one there, so it, there's our one, two, three hearts. Perfect. I've got some gold rhinestones here. And I'm just having one here, one here, and one on my love heart. Just here. And now for this beautiful flower, it's got a tiny little pearl on the centre. So I'm going to grab it with the glue dot. And I'm just going to pop that right there. Just so it's touching the sentiment as well. Isn't that perfect? I will have to do something with them bowls. They're awful. <laughs> yeah, you can pretty fire your bowls. Anyway, you like make them smaller, longer. I'm just not the best bow maker in the world at all, and I can't go to sit right. But I'll I'll figure it out at some point. 
So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's a gorgeous little box. You could add thinner ribbon, you could have had the gold trim ribbon. I just wanted it to match my uh, designer series paper. Love it. So I'm going to mess around my bowl before I start chopping any more bits off. Try and get them around the back. Oh, I can't. Look, it's sticking up in the air now. Or I may even put a glue dot. I can't on the top. I literally can't on the top, but I may be able to do it on the bottom. I could pop a glue dot behind and pop them in place, but I will have a fiddle around first. Oh, I'm just making that one worse, aren't I? Oh, see, I'm hopeless, absolutely hopeless. I bet you're all dying of laugh. Because uh, I'm normally using my bow maker. Well, I can't use my bow maker on my... Oh, I could. I could just stick it over the bottom, can I? Oh, come on. Because I don't like that bow at all. I didn't like that. Look, it's ruined my bow. And a stickler. Have a nice good wide bow. I love this thing. Perfect bows every time. And because it's only for decoration down the bottom. Oh my word, you should hear the wind. Oh, horrendous. Look at that. Perfect. Why can't I do them with my fingers? <laughs> well, I obviously do them with... I've caught my nails or something. Oh, it's broken there, look. Look at that. So much better. Isn't that pretty? I've got some really large glue dots somewhere. <laughs> I can't find them. <laughs> Let me have a look. No. I must have popped them away. Oh, I found them. I had these from a Hobbycraft, I think, and I picked up the wrong size. They're humongous. When I can find the end. There it is. Look at the size of them. Really big. But will be perfect on the back of here. Look, nice and wide. And now my bow at the bottom is going to look a lot better than my bow at the top. Isn't that perfect now? Snip, snip. Oh my word. How much nicer is that than that last one? Look at the state of this one. <laughs> I'm going to play. I've got, what's the time? Let me have a look. Oh, I've got <laughs> about five minutes left to try and get this straight. Right. Ooh, take a big breath, Kana. <laughs> Oh, my ribbon is twisted properly and in the center. Should we try doing bunny ears for this one? And that's supposed to flip over. Oh wow, look, I think I've done it. Oh no. It's not long enough now, this side. And it keeps coming undone. Why does that happen to me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm plagued by bows. They must... <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it. Why is one side a lot longer than the other? I'm not going to stop, ladies, until I get it right. Right, that's better. Right, the 
about the same length. That looks better already. I spent 20 minutes trying to get the bow right, I think, haven't I? Oh well, perhaps my ribbon's too wide. Where this is. It's enough to make a saint swear, I tell ya. That's what my nan used to say anyway. Look, my bow is twisted. Sorry girls, I'm gonna have to fiddle with this off camera, but there's my box. <laughs> and there's my look, see I wasn't too fussed on these ones either, but there we go. If you're not the best bow maker in the world, then you're not the best like me. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed these and you go out and give them a go. I think they're absolutely adorable. Um, but yeah, if you like, give me a thumbs up and share. And then if you want to subscribe, once we get to 5,000, we're doing a giveaway. So I'm going to love you all and leave you. Until next time. Bye.